Hello first graders. So today we're going to be learning about numbers to 40. Previously we had been working on numbers up to 20, but now we're going to move it all the way out to 40. You may be already familiar with some of these and then those ways you'll be an expert. So our goal today in the bottom in the blue is I can count, identify, that means to know what it is, and break up numbers to 40. Let's get started. So for our warm up, I'd like us to watch this video and you are gonna actually stand up right now because in the video you are going to count from one to 40 forwards and from 40 to one backwards while moving your body. The video will tell you what to do while you're counting the numbers. Please make sure that you are counting along. It is super important. If you don't wanna stand up and do the, the motions, that's fine, but it is really important that you do the counting so you're exercising your brain at least. But it is fun to exercise both your brain and your body at the same time. So here we go, count along. Let's count and move your body to the beat. Count by ones to 50, forward and backwards with me. Stretch your arms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk in place. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Arm circles. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Twist your body. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Twist your body. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. Arm circles. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Walk in place. 20, 19, 18. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Stretch your arms. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's count and move your body to the beat. Count by ones to 50, forward and backwards with me. Nice counting. Great job, friends. So hopefully you were able to count those numbers from 1 to 40 forward and from 40 down to 1 backwards. If the backwards was a little tricky, that's okay. Just keep practicing it. All right. Oops, that's not what we wanted. All right, let's go to the next slide. So hopefully you remember from our last chapter, we were working on teen numbers. Give me a thumbs up if you remember teen numbers. Nice work. Okay, so we learned that teen numbers were... 110 plus a digit. Remember, a digit is a single number. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are the only digits in our world. So it's a 1 plus any one of those numbers. Our right, teen number. So right down here below, you can see all the teen numbers. Count them with me, please. Here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. If you'd like to give yourself an extra challenge, you can pause the video here and count them backwards from 19 back to 10. We also learned with teen numbers how we can break them up into a number bond. For example, if we have 17 is our whole, we can break up 17 into 10 plus the digit, which is seven or the 10 and the ones. So now we're gonna learn how this is really helpful when learning bigger numbers because a lot of the bigger numbers are very similar. So now let's talk about 20s and 30s. Um, so first, the 20s. How many 10s do you think are in 20s? If teen numbers have one 10, how many 10s are in 20s? 
If you said two, you got it right. There are two tens in twenties. That's why we call them twenties. It kind of sounds like the number two and twenty kind of sounds similar. So it's going to be two tens plus a digit again. So it's going to be two tens plus a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So all of these numbers in this row in blue are in the twenties. Count them with me. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Again, if you want to give yourself an extra challenge, go ahead and pause the video here and count backwards from 29 back down to 20. So those are numbers in the 20s. There are two, um, two tens plus a digit. Guess what? The 30s are really, really similar. Do you want to make a guess what the 30s are? How many tens are in 30s? That's right, it's three tens. That's why 30 sounds so similar to three. It's three tens plus, you wanna guess what goes there? A digit again. And all these numbers in this purple row are in the 30s. Let's count them together. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. And if you wanna challenge yourself one more time, grow that brain just a little extra, you can pause the video here and count backwards from 39 back down to 30. Okay, so now that we know what 20s and 30s are, let's talk about how to break them up. I will let you know, give you a hint, it is very close to the teen numbers. So let's start over here with our number bond that has 27 as the whole. 27 can be broken down into, remember, numbers in the 20s are two tens and our digit. So two, um, 27 can be broken up into 20, there's our two tens, and seven, there's our digit. 27 is broken up into 20 and seven. You can even hear that in the number, 27. Let's try another one in the 20s. How about this one? What number do you think this is? 23, that's right. What can 23 be broken into? We can break it up into the two tens. That's 20 and the digit. Three, so 23 breaks into 20 and three. Again, you can hear it right in the number, 23. Next one, now we're getting into the 30s. Next one is 35, 35 breaks up into, what do you think? Which two numbers does 35 break into? I hope you guessed 30 and five. If you, are, if you did, give yourself a pat on the back, nice work. And our last one is 31. What do you think 31 breaks into? You can hear it right in the number, 31. It breaks into 30, there's our three tens, and one, there's our digit. So hopefully you were able to get those. Once you know the teen numbers, the 20s and the 30s are really pretty easy. Guess what, friends? This chapter is only going up to 40, just the number 40, not into the 40s. So, um. That's why I didn't talk about the 40s today. But if you are able to understand the teens, the 20s, and the 30s, you can also understand the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They are all super similar. So if you want to give yourself one more challenge, um, tell somebody nearby you, what do you think 86 could be broken into? Hmm, break that up into the tens and the digit. 86. All right, while you are thinking about that, just a reminder, our goal today was that we can count, identify, and break up numbers to 40. Good luck, my first graders. Have a wonderful day.